Good morning, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. It is a beautiful sunny day, thank God, because we have to fix that roof. We just put duct tape on it just to get us through, but I went and bought some ceiling tape, and we're going to put that on now. We clean the surface off with alcohol first, and flex tape is the tape that we bought. Luckily, we bought two rolls because... It only did that portion and that portion there. There's still a tear right there. But this looks like it's gonna work. It's a pretty sticky stuff. Also bought some liquid nails. And we used that first to hold the rubber roof down. Works pretty well. And you just press it down, make sure the surface is clean, and, and just mash it down. Definitely works better than duct tape. And it has a sealant in it, so it's waterproof. Oh, it's a hot day today. I've got the AC on, the overhead AC and the generator running because it's pretty hot. And once it cools down a little bit more, I'll cut the back AC on. But Mumu had four ticks. I just had to get off of her. Bad ticks, bad ticks, right, Mumu? I removed two earlier and there were two more. So I just got them off. I used, of course, my tweezers and a lighter to heat up the tweezers and it works just pulls them right off i really love this area and all the grass and green trees and just the green in general but i do have to keep a good eye out for ticks with moo moo because they're all over the place so yes I'll, I'll check her every day make sure she has no ticks while we're here right moo moo you don't want any ticks on you well, it's a good thing that we got the roof fixed because it did drizzle earlier, so I'm glad that's done. We decided to get some food. We're here at Portillo's. John suggested this. I guess this is a place that is back home where he's from. Uh, is it good food? Uh, yeah. Ooh, look at fancy turnstile. That's pretty cool. Nice. Wee, and the light automatically puts on. Nice. It's a pretty big place. There's a dining room there. Greetings from Portillo's. Definitely that old diner feel. Wow, look at that. So they have the big Italian. Look at the Chicago dogs. That looks interesting right there. The Italian beef and sausage combo. Well, here's my food. I got the number one, which is a big Italian beef and cheesy fries. Well, fries with cheese sauce. Oh my god, the food was so good and yummy. I wasn't able to finish my sub. It was pretty big. But look what I got. The chocolate cake. Oh, yummy, yummy. It says, eat me. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so good and frosty. Oh my god, it's so bright and humid out here. Felt so nice in there. So, I almost devoured. I was like, oh, I'm so full. And then I, I got to the cake and I almost devoured it all. I was supposed to save some for home, but I did a little bit. <laughs> Look y'all, Dick's Field and Stream. They did not think about that sign before they put all that together. I was at Walmart, wait, we came to Walmart and somebody stole my card, I had to go get another one. Oh my God, I told John to hold my sunglasses. <laughs> Strike a pose. Strike a pose, they look good on you. They look better off of you. Thank you. Look, John found his bike. Stud, Stud bike. bike. <laughs> we had left Cracker Barrel, met up with Dana, Steve, and the family there, and also y'all saw Kat and Homer. We are now going to an RV park. It's a paid one, but it's not that expensive. We're only going to do it for a day because it's so hot today. And I don't feel like running my generator. So, yeah, we all decided that we wanted to just hang out at an RV park, which is about, I think, 20 bucks. 
so not too bad. That's where we're headed now. We just left the largest truck stop and got some food to eat. Now we're headed to the RV park. John is in the lead. We are turning on 22 East. Okay, car, come in. We're almost there. We are less than a mile away. In half a mile, turn right toward West Front Street. This is in Scott County, Davenport. Well, it's right, right outside of Davenport. Street. This is the Buffalo Shores access area. Railroad In tracks. In 1,000 feet, turn right. Oh, it's right by water too. That's gonna be amazing. There's camping, a boat. Launch here, picnic tables. Park hours are from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., but we're going to be staying here. Right, Mumu? We're going to be staying here. Are you excited? We'll be able to plug in. We'll have to run that generator. Okay, we have to go check in and pay the fees. The boat and trailer parking is over here to the left. There's the boat launch right there. Camping with self-contained units only. No tents allowed. Those with internal water and restrooms. Do you so want to talk to the camp host first or grab a spot or how does this all so work? So Riverfront is 26 and all others are 23. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what's open. So we'll need to stop and talk to the camp host. All right, camp host is right here. So I'm going to pull all the way up for everybody. Sounds good. No keg beer, no littering, no parking, no traffic, I, oops, no fires. There are fire rings, so maybe it's no fires outside the ring. Hey, lady. Hi. Hey, Banjo. Hey, kids. <laughs> Hi, Auntie. Hi, Boo Boo. <laughs> That's what John was just saying. So the river sites are 26 yeah, so and then like 23 to, for the regular. Would y'all like to uh, do the uh, riverside or not riverside? I don't, I don't care. care. Huh? I'm not it's only three. Park. It's only three dollars more for a riverside. You might as well get by a riverside. Okay, as long as something's open. I don't know. It doesn't say like what's open. Yeah, I'll, I'll go talk to them. Let's go talk no, to them. I need to talk to the camp post real quick. This is awesome, actually, you guys. I, I don't mind the shaded. That's actually nice to sit. Yeah. And then the other one's by the beach. So there's yeah. three here that we can choose mm -hmm. from. And that's actually nice. Little, it is nice and there's plenty of shade. There's porta potties yeah. there too. Porta potties. You get to plug in. It's private. There's water, but you can't stay connected to the water because two sites share one water. So you have to fill your tank. And then there are two or three more sites over here, right? Yeah, but remember, they're not going to get on the water. They're going to probably do a cross from us, which will be better to kind of hang out anyway. Right. So we can either. And these are the other three. Yeah, so, so right at the beach right yeah. down there. Okay, well, which one do y'all want? I do not even care because we're just, we'll just park next to each other. There is no dump station. They had a flood and it washed out their dump station. So. You, you have access to water, electric, just no dumping, and their oh, uh, so showers. Is yeah, the showers oh. and the restrooms are closed. That's why they have the porta potties out. They have dumpsters at least. Okay, so did we make up our mind or not really? Um, we can. What do you think belt dies will like better? Not sure. I was liking the corner because it's that. private. That's what I like too, but yeah. I think that's better too. Okay. The and then the there. kids can like you know be loud and not obnoxious yeah. like kids are. <laughs> well, yeah, the kids. <laughs> who's who's uh, me? me? <laughs> <laughs> I can be a little loud and obnoxious from time to time. <laughs> 
Jeez, you might as well go jump in and cool yourself off. <laughs> I heard it was kind of warm. We are camped right by the Look Mississippi River. all these people River. floating out there. Yeah, I see people floating. <laughs> There's a tugboat out there. John said it wasn't too cold. Yep, it's pretty warm. So John and I were able to both fit in this spot here. They said we could do that because I told him that he would stay in my rig because it's self-contained while we're here. We parked the truck in front of Homer and Katz. And then that's where Dana and Steve and the children are. Got a nice shaded spot here. Amazing. This definitely reminds me of South Carolina, the big, huge trees. What do you think, Lucky? Huh? Is it nice? That shade and all. Well, it's cooled down. At least it has in the shade. So we've decided to go for a little walk. There's a path in front of me that we just noticed. So we're going to go see where that leads. Yeah, it was just way too hot and muggy earlier to do anything, so we went inside and just watched a movie. I took a little nap, a power nap. There is the path straight ahead. It's nice wooded and shaded. They do have a dumpster here. So get rid of trash. When we get back, I'm going to cook some dinner. I've already decided on doing pork chops with some mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, and some green beans. Oh, this looks pretty. Yeah, it looks like a birdhouse right there, or something. That's one of those. It could be, yeah. to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know oh. right next to the park is private land i see homes through the bushes and vines we hear a lawn more oh yeah there we go <laughs> it's funny, this is the highway. Oh yeah, right there? Yeah. Oh, the, and there's a railroad track there too. Mm -hmm. But like, I didn't feel like we were that close to the... The highway? The, the road? Traffic, yeah. Yeah, I didn't either. It's nice back here. There are a few bugs flying around, but they're not bothering us or anything. <laughs> Well, we're almost done with this loop. All it does is just kind of loop through the woods and then comes back out to the main parking lot up here. I think we're going to walk down to the beach and then cut back up to the camp spot. Yep, this is basically the overview of the camping area. It's where all the camp areas are and there's two parking lots. So we came up with a new dance. It's called the Muggy Buggy. <laughs> it's Muggy and Buggy. So you just smack each other. You give the bugs off. You or you slap yourself. <laughs> this is the Buffalo Shores Campground Beach Day Use Only. And like he said, swim at your own risk. There's no lifeguard. No alcohol allowed on the beach. Beach regulations do not allow. And this is all the stuff they do not allow. Got some jet skis out there. I'm ready to get on some jet skis again. It's been a while. Luke had just posted that he was on a jet ski in Michigan. Oh, in Michigan, nice. Uh -huh. On the lake. Awesome. Maybe beach that, day when we go to the that'd be wonderful. Evening. Yeah. Oh, it's so muggy. I definitely have to get used to this again. So now we're gonna walk on the beach and head back to the camp spot, which is not too far down there. Look, when was your favorite stuff? Sand. She loves to run in the sand, but I'll wait till we get past everybody before I do that. 
Yes, there's a few people up here. How's that Mississippi River water taste? Anything gross? Huh? <laughs> it's warm. Gonna feel how it feels. Is it? Oh, it's. I mean, it's it's not bad. I guess it's not cold. Oh, you're gonna see on the thing. Momo, what is that? That's disgusting. Someone left a diaper. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's water. Water's nice. Look, it's a free boat for us to use. That'd be pretty cool. That's a neat little boat. Okay, we're almost back to camp, so I'm gonna let you go. Go! Wow, look at all these little shells. It's like the ocean. Dana said she tasted the water and it tasted salty, so... It was weird. And I was like, how is that possible? I'm not even near the ocean. Alright, well, we've almost made it back to camp, so... It's time for me to get cooking on dinner. Before it gets dark. This was a lovely walk. I really enjoyed it. It was nice and short, but still wonderful. Go, Mama! Go, Mama! Go, go, go! go. 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 So she does on the beach. She runs and runs and runs. She loves the beach. Oh, that's really soggy. Oh my God. Well, it's like you just sink down. Quick sand. Actually, slow sand. It kind of dips down once you walk. Oh, it's kind of slimy. <laughs> That's slimy. I'm good. No, no, no. Look at the jet skis go. Did you find you a stick? <laughs> you completely ate that stick. What's wrong with you? Huh? Not supposed to be eating sticks. We're at the park boundary. I'm not going to go past this, but there's something back here I want to show you. There's an old car back there. It's kind of hard to tell what it is. Okay, I have the buttery mashed potatoes done, the Asian style sauteed green beans, and I'm sauteing some red onions to go over the pork chops. Homer has his grill out, so he's letting us use his Coleman grill to cook up our pork chops. I think he's got some hamburgers on there right now. Pork chops done! Mmm, smells so good. Unfortunately, there's not smell-o-vision, but it's time to fix our plates. Dinner is served! Yay! Yummy, yummy. It Get is yummy, tummy. yummy. <laughs> So here's the finished plate. We've got pork chops, mashed potatoes, a little butter, and some sauteed green beans. John's plate, he likes to do a stacking thing. This ain't KFC. <laughs> hey, I have it my way. <laughs> That's Burger King. Mm. It's still not the same place, huh? Nope, not the same place. Anyways, we're going to enjoy dinner. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with us. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there. Mwah. Bye. Hang it. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we wait.